Welcome back to Resident Evil, as we are playing as Deranged Chris. And last time we left off, I decided, you know, there are these two areas we can go. We can go from the dormitory down into the ladder below it, and then we come out here. Or we can go into the bathroom, which takes us outside where we pick up the radio, and then we en enter, enter the cave area, the underground tunnel area. Well... The ideal way is the other way, but I wanted to show off what was over here, because there isn't actually much over here, but let's just kind of go and see what's going on over this way. Our dead friend is no longer there. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to create any sort of safe state here, because that would just be kind of foolish. So, we remember this room. This is the room that had the snake in it. Colonel, I have returned! It is I, yet again. This time, I will kill this fool. He shall not survive the wrath of me, Colonel. Colonel, he killed me in two shots. That's right. Dead. Thanks for that infinite rocket launcher. Let's go ahead and jump down. <laughs> Remember last time when we were playing as Jill? Barry would come down. Actually, Barry, we could either wait for Barry or we could just go on ahead. And this is what would happen if we were to go on ahead. Go and push the switch. Because there is no, no Barry in here and Rebecca d would not come and save Chris. Because mostly for a Chris's playthrough, he's just alone for the most part. He's, there isn't, he doesn't really do too much. Like, he's not really interacting with too many people. Oh gosh, the music. There we go. Blast those suckers up. So this is this is the area that le that connects to the kitchen. I don't think that we do we have a map we don't have a map of this because this is this is the basement. But this is actually not an area that we even saw as Jill because there was no need to. I don't, although I think because everything's random here, I don't think it, this will actually connect to the kitchen. But we can see. Oh, I, I hear zombies feasting. We must use our magnum. Where are you guys? Oh, there you are. You're feasting. There you go. No more feasting for you, you guys. I'm pretty sure this is the door that would lead into the kitchen area. But as you can see, it does not anymore. Yes, yeah, just blast off their heads. Oh gosh, I just love all these all these guns, all these amazing guns. So look, that was a single door and then it leads to a double door. And just like that, we're in the underground la laboratory. Just like that. Just like that. But, as I said, we're going for the best ending, so we're just going to load that back up. That was if we went down the ladder. That's where that would lead. But instead, we're going to go out through here and go through the tunnel area, because this would be the ideal way to go, because this is where we pick up the radio. And the radio is important. In order to get our best ending, we have to go go this way any anyway. What? It must be a star's radio. It's a little bit broken, but it might still be usable. I'll take it with me. I'm looking in the chat and I say wing it. Wing it with Bayo and Mayo. Put some mayo on that bayo and just wing it. Mmm, mayonnaise. Okay, so here we are. This is the ideal way to go now. We do not have a map here, but we don't we do not need a map. Enrico! 
Don't come any closer, Chris. Wait, what happened? Double crosser! Don't! Uh, uh, hell. Umbrella. Who is it? I is someone there? Double crosser? What did he mean by that? So, <laughs> Chris's conversation with Enrico was much shorter than Jill's. We don't actually learn that much from Enrico. All he, all he says is, don't come any closer, double crosser, umbrella, dead. Just like that. You know, Barry came in here with Jill. There was a little conversation going on saying that there was a traitor within stars. And all he says is double crosser, which we can kind of, you know, think that, but, and then he just dies. He just dies. Umbrella! So yeah, not much, <laughs> not much with Enrico. But he does have something useful. He couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's holding something. He indeed is. You Crank that soldier boy, let's go. I'm gonna go crank that soldier boy right now. Ooh! I hear ya. I hear ya. Any more, more, more of you idiots? No, okay. There's more. Where are you guys? I hear him. Did I just shoot like all three of them and just kill them all right there? I just like randomly shot down this way and I killed them all. All three of them. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, I don't need shotgun ammo or healing spray. I mean, look at Chris. I mean, he's just amazing. He's got this amazing rocket launcher. He's got this amazing gun. He don't need nothing. But he's got a crank, cr a crank that soldier boy though. Got a crank, a crank that soldier boy really hard. Up. Oh. You know what? You know what? You know what? There you go. Okay, you know what? Let's just load that back up. I'm not gonna take any damage. I guess I kind of have to, don't I? Yeah, I kind of do. I have no, no other way around it. These guys suck. Okay, so here's where we went down into, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. It just loops back around. So now, let's head through here. I'm not going to pick up that weapon on the wall. We don't need that weapon. He's got infinite weapons here. Oh, the boulder. All right, boulder, let's go. Ah, there's some music playing playing here. Really nice. This is probably one of the hardest parts if you don't have the infinite ammo and such like I have now. I mean, these these guys can kill you very easily. So if you you can't save, you can't save. So, so what do we have here? Ha! <laughs> Magnum rounds. What a joke. What an absolute joke.
Oh gosh. Oh, it's a gigantic spider! Okay. There we go. Good as new. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Come on. You just blast that thing. Just blast that thing. And you know what? Just because I'm gonna go pick up that... That weapon that was on the wall. There it is. So this is the flamethrower. We saw Barry using this, but we've never actually used it. I kind of want to give it a try. Is there something in this room? Not sure. Maybe not. Maybe there isn't anything in this room. There is a save room, though. We do not need anything from the save room. Well, there is actually an herb over here. That would honestly be kind of good just to use solo. Because we got hurt a little bit. Oh, this is a blue herb. No, we're not poisoned or anything. And we won't be poisoned. There's nothing that can really poison us right now. So we're not going to worry about that. Oh, maybe we won't be able to use off use the amazing fire launcher. Because this this door is locked and there's a little plate over here where you have to put, put the fire launcher. But then, let me just shoot it off, so... Yes. That's how we would use it. But let's go ahead and put down the flamethrower. Open this door up. Perfect. Yes. Anything in here? Oh, we have that. The elevator that goes up. Don't really want to go there yet. Oh, we also have this. Okay, let's go ahead and lead this over. Come on now, Boulder. Let's go. You were hiding the map, I see. Get this map. We don't need it though. Because you literally get it like in the very last room. But now this is important. Doom Doom Book 2. I believe this was a mode a mode disc before. There were no mode discs, if that wasn't apparent already. Which means we won't have to put in any passwords for the mode disc. But but for Chris, they're in the same exact spots. There we go. The wolf metal. Okay, and we have this. Yes. So you notice Chris's jacket, it says Made in Heaven, and there's like a, an angel. I'm just thinking like Maiden, like a Maiden. Maiden in Heaven. I don't know. And I see more links to sausages in the chat, and uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, to be honest with you. What we need to do is make a peanut butter and jelly sausage. Mmm. Peanut butter and jelly sausage. Yummy. <laughs> That'd be so nasty. And then while Barry's eating it, he'll be like, Oh my god! Hold my card, yes. <coughs> All right. Okay, so now this is the room that we got 
another uh, medallion here, so... I believe, yeah, this is where we got the wolf medallion, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, I, I, I can't use- I have to get in the, in the exact precise spot. That's right, Chris. There you go. Has to be so precise with him. There you go. Crank that. Cr crank that. Sa sa whatever. Oh, a rocket launcher sausage. How about that? Rocket launcher sausage. Mmm. What about cult python sausage? That would honestly be pretty cool. Infinite cult python sausage, to be precise. Yes. Give me that. So here's the other Doom book. Doom, Doom, Doom! You can't use it here, of course not. Yes. Now we have both medals, which means now we can go down to the underground lab the legit way. Which that's where we're going to be doing right now. So let us head back to the elevator. What's down here? Oh, this is the elevator. Okay, good. Let's put these crests in. We can put our crank away as well once we get down into the lab. No need for mode this. It's just we're like very, very close to the end because there isn't much left left to do. Oh. Oh. Cannot stand them. I cannot. Chris, why don't you just shoot your rocket launcher off? You know, just shoot your rocket launcher off into the far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Go, go ahead. I will support this effort. Oh! The trees! The trees are preventing me from destroying those darn wolves. Darn them. Okay, so my health is a little low. I'm going to go pick up some, some herbs here. No, I do not want the blue herb. Is there anything but a blue herb here? I can't tell what color it is. It doesn't look, it doesn't look blue. There we go. There we go. We are in fine health now. Let's just pick up one one more for the road. I don't think... I think all we need is just one more inventory slot left. Whoops, if you if you don't stop it. Let me just see see one more here. Is this green or is this blue? Yeah, it's blue. Eh, may as, may as, may as well. There we go. Alright, we, 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 we have to get out of here. I'm so sick of these wolves. Hopefully we never hear them again. Hurry up, Chris. Hurry up. Yes, head into the lab. So, no need for the modus, as I said. We're pretty much just going to... Do the things that we need need to here and fight the tyrant and get the heck on out of out out of, out, of, out of here. As, as usual, these doors are locked until there's an emergency, so we will be back up this way. Oh gosh, here comes the zombies with their naked juice. The naked zombies and their naked juice coming up soon. 
Coming up soon. The question is, do I want to explode them into bits, or do I want to blast off their head? Actually, these are not the, the uh, naked, naked, naked ones yet. These I actually wouldn't mind blasting off their head, but but the naked ones I want to explode. I want to explode the naked ones. So this is actually where we were. Yeah, this is actually where we were when we went the other way, if you remember. When we came, when we went down, down, down the ladder, and then, and then we fought the snake and went down in, into the underground, you know, basement area of the mansion, we actually ended up here. This is where we came out at the very beginning. So, no, no need for, you know, doing that. We did it the correct way, which means we have the radio now, and that's what's important. That's what's important. We wouldn't have been able to have the radio if we did not go the other way. Okay, here we go. Let's blast these zombies up in their naked juice. So naked and so juicy. Here we go. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, look at them. Oh gosh, yes. We exploded off their penis. Penis. Is that it? Boner. That's it. Daz all, folks. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I guess we will go through here. Actually. First things first, we have to go check on Jill. Because there's no MOA discs. <gasps> that's it, that's it. I'm loading it up before I even went in the door. I'm not dealing with naked zombies and their naked juice. I've got the juice. <gasps> A naked zombie? Come on, everybody. Next time I'm, next time I'm going to explode their heads right off. I believe all these doors are locked. Yeah, so look, there's not much exploring. It's just like pretty much like straight there. So this is where we would enter in all the MOA discs. A passcode panel. You don't have the passcode. Well, fortunately, the door's just open. <laughs> the door's just open. Let's go rescue Jill. Actually, she, the door's not unlocked yet, but she will be be here. Chris! Jill! Chris, Wesker, he is... I, I know. Shoot, it doesn't open. Look, Jill, wait here. I'll save you. Okay, I'll wait. Yes, we know right Wesker is the traitor. The door is tightly locked, Jill. Actually, you know what? Jill, back away from the door. Chris has a solution to this. Chris has a solution. That should work. Oh no! The ultimate boss fight is Jill's jail cell door. Well, we will be back for Jill. We will indeed be back for Jill. Let's go. Go deal with these naked zombies. Equip my Magnum. Yes, I blasted off his head. Blast off that naked, naked, naked head of yours. Yes. Why is his head naked? I don't know. Sir? Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Just blast off their heads. They don't have no head no mo. No, they don't. No, they don't. 
Oh. Oh, at least I had clothes on, unlike those other fools. Indeed you did. Indeed you did. Ah. Oh. This room. This room. Oh gosh. Oh look. Honestly, this camera angle may actually be a little easier. It might just be a little easier. Let's see. Okay, can I get over here without... Let's see, I don't want to walk on the switch. There we go. That worked. That worked. Okay. So now, bring the other one. And I guess what we have to do then... Yes. Such a, a tedious, obnoxious, annoying puzzle. There we go, there we go. Okay, only one thing left. The stairs. The evil stairs. Why are they evil? Because they're stained in blood. No! He's like, I'm ready to cli climb up this thing now. He's like, I ain't got no time to be just waiting here. Jill need needs my help. There we go. Honestly, I think that was actually easier than the other camera ang- Naked zombie, huh? <laughs> well, what do we have up here, too? Huh! <laughs> Magnum rounds. No. I will not be taking those. This is what we put in one of the mode disks. The passcode output machine. If I had a mode disk, I could get the code. Well, we don't need it. Oh. Just, just the morgue. So there was absolutely no point in coming in here. Great. Maybe if we needed the magnum rounds. <laughs> no point. We did that stupid puzzle for nothing. Oh, I want to blast your head, head off right, right on the screen. Yes, look at that. And I saw you over here, sir. I saw you. <laughs> Great. Okay, so we have to power on the elevator now. Okay. Let's go do, do that. I believe this is just the save room, so I'm not going to bother in there. Oh gosh, the enemies that are in here. Okay. We do have our unlimited magnum now, so we should be able to deal with them okay. Damn these guys. So annoying. Yes. Okay, power is on. Oh, little worms that they leave behind. It's so disgusting, man. Ugh. Okay, let us save again.
Oh gosh, it's so loud in here. Like I have to shout. Oh gosh. Any more of you fools? Is that all? Oh gosh. There you go, Chris. Shoot the screen. Shoot. Oh, you. It's a triggering system activator. It's quite big. Okay, so you remember the battery that we get, like the very last item in the game, right before you fight the, the uh, tyrant up on the roof? And you have to have one slot in your inventory for the battery? We pick up the battery here. Okay, great. Wonderful. All right, let's go activate the elevator. Yes. Yes, elevator is now active. Let's go. Sounds exactly like your neighbor's electricity generator. I guess you kind of need it because I have all those power outages, you know? You kind of need it. You kind of need it. Ah, oh, so nice and quiet now. Ah. Oh. Okay, there's nothing we can do with Jill yet. But here we go. Let's go ahead and power this on. Rebecca, you're safe. I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you're all right. Don't go out alone. Yes, sir. Okay, Rebecca's with us now. We're going to go meet up with Wesker. And see how things are different on Chris's side. Chris, as my subordinate, you have wonderful talent. I would never work for a company like Umbrella. And Wesker, you were formerly with Umbrella. What do you mean? Since when have you been an Umbrella agent? And a traitor to the stars? Now you're wrong! I was formerly with Umbrella, yes. But now I'm prepared to face anything. Even getting rid of you vigilante stars. Now, the worst possible situation has occurred. The failure of the experiment created a virus, a biological weapon, polluting the entire lab. No, the worst happened with the tyrant virus. I lost some of my STARS team members because of it. You killed them with your own hands. Did you kill Enrico? Really? Yeah, like this. Rebecca! Don't move. If you do, I'll kill you. Chris, I have something to show you. Now, walk. This? That's right. This is the ultimate life form. Tyrant! <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. This is your savior? You say this failure is your savior? You can make sure yourself whether Tyrant is a failure or not.
Go to hell. Jill will join you too. What? Don't come this way! No! You can't kill me! Well... Tyrant has turned on its master. Killing Wesker. I want to use my rocket launcher. See what happens. One hit kill. Nice. <clears throat> you ain't so tough. <laughs> what a miserable death. Indeed. The control device for this room, there's a door lock switch. Will you unlock it? Yes. I am really upset that he killed Rebecca. How dare you, Wesker. Wow! Ha! It seems like this bulletproof jacket is pretty strong. I see. How about Captain Wesker? He is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Hurry up. I want to get out of here. Wesker is sleeping with the ultimate failure. Indeed, he was. The ultimate failure exploded. <laughs> with a grenade. With a rocket launcher. Right to the, right to the en enlarged heart. Me, Chris. What, Rebecca? I saw a research file in this lab. It said that a great deal of research on the tyrant virus exists right here. We should blow this place up. We are already into it over our heads. Rebecca, can you do it? Yes, sir. I'll set off a triggering system for a bomb. Okay. Now we have a chance to escape. See you outside the house. So, it is Rebecca that is responsible for blowing up this whole mansion, which is really, really good. <laughs> and I see in the chat here, talking about the tyrant, that he has a serious case of myocarditis due to those GMOs. Indeed, too much GMOs from Wesker. Just too much. Too much. So I don't think I need anything for the final part here. I think we have everything that we could possibly want. No. Of course not. So I guess the last thing to really do is just go save Joe now. I think I have enough healing items. Come on, Jill. We're going to come save you now. Alright, triggering system is activated. Oh gosh, these guys are here. Just going to try to avoid them. Jill, we're coming for you. We're going to save you. We want to get the best ending. Best ending being you save Rebecca and you save Jill. And that's exactly what we're doing. Jill, sorry for making you wait. Chris! I knew I could trust you. Let's go. There's no need to stay. I always love the nice calm music that plays in there. And then you come out here and it's like... 
<laughs> you know? The triggering system has now been activated. Let's go, Jill. Let's get going. Careful, Jill, you don't have a weapon. You're heading out there with those freaks. And look, he even unequipped his weapon in order to go after help Jill, you know? That was great. Now get that rocket launcher back equipped. We had to go right, right up the steps pronto. We don't we don't we do not want to get attacked. Go, go, go. Yes. Okay, we're almost out. We're almost out of the mansion. I think there's a few more zombies in our way, and then we have the tyrant up on the roof. Oh gosh. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I'm in caution mode. You know what? I'm gonna pick up some some herbs here and let's just take them. Let's just use them. No need, because we literally have two health items. I doubt that I'm going to get injured that much by the tyrant. You know? Let's go. Let's get going. Joe, I just have one question. And you better answer me. Do you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Wrong answer! Let's go. Where is Rebecca? Better hurry up. This is Brad. I have a fuel shortage. Okay. This is the last try. If somebody's alive, please send a sign. Ah, uh, Brad. Oh, look at this. The battery is pulled out. <laughs> look, I'm glad that we picked up the battery. Okay, there we go. Pick up the flare. We got this. Look at those monsters! I love that. Oh my gosh, that's just great. <laughs> that's great. And what's going to happen if we use the uh, rocket launcher immediately on the tyrant? Is it going to die, like, immediately? Or do we have to pick up? I don't know. Yes, Brad, let's go. Oh gosh, yep, here you come. All right. We didn't even need to have him 
bring down anything. We just use our standard rocket launcher. Dead. He's still moving his mouth. His head. Ew. There we go, the best ending is Chris when we save both Jill and Rebecca. And as the helicopter fly flies off in the distance, you hear. Look at those monsters! And on another plane, you hear. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Noah Barry there. Noah Barry. So there we go. There we have it. Now, just like Jill's scenario, there are different endings depending on who you save. Go ahead and, and skip the credits. I'm going to go ahead and skip the credits because we have seen, seen those particular credits. Number of saves, none. Hour and a half. Besides, there are more better credits that we can watch as well. There we go. What a tough guy. You've closed this, you've closed this case completely. Nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was with the rocket launcher at the very end? Okay. Do not save. No point. <laughs> okay, that was uh, very interesting. So, let me go ahead and close this out now. So, the other endings I want to show. The first one here is if you, if you save just Rebecca and you do not save Jill. Next is if you save Jill, but not Rebecca. And this is actually the same ending you would get if you play as Jill and just save Chris. As you can see, the mansion does not blow up. And it kind of zooms out and you see some of the ground there. 
And then finally, this is if you don't save any of your friends, and it's just Chris by himself. And again, it zooms out, it zooms out, which then what you would see after the credits play would be this scene. The tyrant is still alive. He's not dead, he's not dead. All right, so the last thing to end it on for Chris, just like Jill's, let's listen to the the Japanese original credits from Fumataki Fuchigami. I won't let this end as a dream. I just, this is just too good. So yeah, that's a, that is that is mostly Jill there there for that ending. Not so much Chris, but okay. So there's only one thing left to look at in this game, and it's really not in this version of the game. It's actually in the mod that I'm playing, the Ultimate Director's Cut. They have a bonus disc that includes the Sega Sega Saturn version exclusives, which is the battle mode and the maze mode. So we're going to take a look at that next time for the finale of Resident Evil. So, I will see you next time.